A, li a little interesting that the Freedom Caucus suddenly comes out with a statement saying that they're in support of new legislation to overhaul Obamacare, Sahel, but will, will it really change anything? I mean, it was the moderates that really ended up sort of put, putting it in the dumpster. Bonnie, it's an important piece of news because the House Freedom Caucus, the, a block of about three dozen conservatives, were critical holdouts uh, last time around when uh, the Obamacare replacement bill collapsed. What they have now is an amendment uh, known as the MacArthur Amendment that would allow states to gain waivers from two critical provisions, regulations in Obamacare that they don't like. It would allow states to opt out of these essential health benefit requirements that insurance companies are uh, supposed to provide. And it would allow states to opt out of the requirement that insurance companies can't charge sick people more for coverage. The theory is that is that this would reduce premiums and costs for people who are trying to buy health care. But the downside is that it could, it could leave a lot of sick people and chronically ill people out in the lurch if they don't have these insurance regulations. Now the big spotlight falls to moderates. House Republican moderates, many of them don't like the fact that this uh, Obamacare replacement bill cuts subsidies by a lot, cuts Medicaid eligibility by a lot, and they have to worry about Democrats in their re-election. A lot of them were silent the first time around but did not want to vote for this bill. Now the spotlight will be on them to see where they come down. But uh, at this point, I would say that uh, this health care bill has a pulse. We don't know. We don't know if it's going to pass yet. A lot of questions remain uh, remain. So to be I seen. suppose we're really waiting for a statement from the Tuesday group at this point to see where where they fall. I mean, is it possible that enough moderates will back it that it could become legislation? Bonnie, so far we have not seen any moderates who uh, were who outwardly opposed the bill last time around change their position. So yes, we do need to see. You know, we do need to see where members of the Tuesday group come uh, come down on this. Keep in mind, one of the people who in, uh, negotiated this amendment and authored this amendment was Tom MacArthur of the Tuesday group. The, the 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 problem with that is that he doesn't seem to be speaking for the group as a block. This is not an ideologically cohesive uh, set. Like the uh, like the Freedom Caucuses, where they all want similar things that run in the same direction. This is a disparate group of people, many of whom are in swing districts, many of whom have to worry about losing to Democrats in their uh, re-election battles, and they want different things. They have more pragmatic wants. I spoke to uh, one uh, member uh, of the House Republican Conference who is in a swing district in New Jersey, uh, Leonard Lance. He said this amendment is not changing his position. It remains all to right. be seen if moderates come aboard. It is.